Hi everybody, this is Sheila. Welcome back to the Crocheters channel. Are you curious about the yarn that comes in the Mary Maxim Crochet Kit of the Month Club? If so, you landed in the right spot because that's what we're going to talk about today. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. So, these are the two yarns that came in the November 2020 Crochet Kit of the Month from Mary Maxim. Let's talk about these. Um, We'll first start with the Peruvian alpaca, but before I get into that, I just want to share, people get kits for different reasons. And so one of the reasons that I get um, various kits that I get uh, yarn subscriptions is because I want to experience the yarn that comes in the kit, see if I like it. And if I do, I want to purchase more. And if I don't, it kind of gives me an idea of one that I just want to exclude from my, from my sourcing when I'm going out and looking for yarn. So that said, let's talk about these. Let's start with the Peruvian. Let's move that out of the way. Move these up here. We got three balls of the Peruvian alpaca and the November 2020 kit. This is a five weight yarn by the producer or the manufacturer of Jenna. It is a premium acrylic, a little bit of mohair, alpaca, and wool. The pattern that came with this, let me move it there. The pattern that came with this was for usage of an I9 hook because there's nothing on here that says what hook size we would use. <laughs> um, so, but the pattern that came with it for Mary Maxim said an I9. It's a wash and lay flat to dry type of an operation here. It's a pretty soft yarn, definitely shows as a, as a five weight. So, there's that there. I have made up an item with some of this yarn already. And this is a beanie. Let me move that there. And you can see the stitch definition. You can see the little mohairs coming off of there as well. And this is the stitch definition. It looks actually quite nice, right? And so this is what it would look like worked up. The ball itself has a little bit of sheen, which I shared in my unboxing video, but once you work it up, I don't see a sheen. So overall, I like this yarn. There is two criticisms that I have of this yarn. One is it splits like crazy. I mean, it just really splits like crazy. And so that, it's not very tightly spun. And so it unravels and splits like crazy uh, really easily. And so that's one criticism I have. The second criticism I have is that even though, yes, it splits like gravy, crazy, this may have been a yarn that I wanted to pursue moving forward because I like that blend, the, the uh, acrylic, mohair, wool blend. And if I wanted to pursue this yarn, I couldn't pursue it anymore because this yarn is actually discontinued. Now, I don't hold that against Mary Maxim. They're going to ship out yarns and sometimes yarns are going to be discontinued. The experience is what we're after usually when we get these kits. So I like the experience of this yarn. And so if I wanted to use a like yarn to this, I went out and I searched one for us. That way, if you like this yarn as well, um, there's an alternative on the market that you can use. And let me show you that. If you like the Peruvian alpaca and you're looking for an alternative, the Patan's alpaca blend from Your Inspirations may do the trick for you. As you can see on the screen, it comes in a multitude of solid colors. The one that's kinda that I would use with that tan, I would consider this butternut that's here in front of you. And then also the other one that's really pretty is this is the yam. Both of these are really pretty colors. If you happen to get the blue alpaca, Peruvian alpaca, they do have a couple of blue shades that you might want to mix with it as well. Um, let me get a close up there for you. You can see here that this yarn is a tad smaller in a uh, smaller size than what the Peruvian alpaca is, but it is lovely. Price point, it is $8.99 for 155 yards, which makes it roughly five dollars and eighty cents per 100 yards one of the nice things that your inspiration has done is they've actually put what it looks like worked up as a stitch so that really is pretty look at that 
You can see those hairs, which what we're experiencing on the Peruvian alpaca as well. Um, as far as the makeup of this guy, it is still a size 5 bulky. Uh, recommends a J-hook, which is a step above, um, a little bit higher hook than what they did for Peruvian alpaca. Mix content-wise, 60% acrylic, wool, a little bit of nylon in there instead of the mohair, and then 8% of paca hand wash lay flat to die so like i say this would be a good alternative if you're looking for that next up let's talk about the spinelli so this guy is a unique yarn itself and i've already started working with it uh, but this is eyelash yarn the spinelli is an eyelash yarn i'm actually working with some of the purple that's why the, the center section is already missing so let's look closer at this guy this is a hundred percent polyester comes in 230 yards and recommends it's a it's a five as well and recommends what is that 10.5 hook so for this guy super soft this is and i, I said this when i op opened up the this on the video this is not going to be the favorite of many people a lot of folks are just not going to like eyelash yarn this is something that's going to be a novelty yarn not for everyone uh, you, if you're brand new to crochet, this is actually one of those um, yarns that most people say don't use it. I would say just the opposite. And the reason I would say just the opposite is because you can bury your mistakes. So if you can get your hook in there, like I already have this run in here. And so if I'm going to use this guy, mostly what you're, how you're going to use it is by feel. And so I've already started this, and so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to feel, and there's my next stitch where I need to go in. I am going to feel it and crochet, right? That's how you're going to go. And let's say you make a mistake. Let's say that instead of a double crochet, because that's what this pat the pattern is calling for, right? Double crochet, you make a single crochet, or like this. I just purposely left a hole. This stuff is super easy to frog right back out. Even though you wouldn't think it would be, it actually is. It is an easy frog type of a yarn. I had no problems with that either. Um, like I say, it, the problem that I think most people would have with this yarn is the fact, the, the idea that it is actually a hard yarn to work with. The other thing that I would recommend is using a bigger size hook. You would not want to use a small hook for this yarn just because you want it big enough so that you have these big loopy stitches and a lot of space to go into these spots. See how fast I found that spike? Loopy loopy. So that was the concern that I had with this yarn. Um, this yarn is at Lion Brand for $7.99. Well, it was at Lion Brand for $7.99. Since it's come out from Mary Maxim and we've gotten this kit, every one of the Spinelli at Lion Brand is now gone. So what's happened, Lion Brand, it looks like they're discontinuing the Spinella and they're actually changing it out for a different brand. So if you if you're one of the folks that do like eyelash yarn, and there's going to be folks out there who do, the yarn is still available and you don't have to go very far to look for it. Let's go take a peek. So instead of Spinella, it is now called Fun Fur on Lion Brand. They have reduced the size of the amount that you get and reduced the price as well. So it's Fun Fur yarn for $4.99. It's still the eyelash yarn. Um, it comes in from Lion Brand site, it has three different colors. If you go to Amazon.com, they have 24 colors. As I shared, $4.99. However, it is only 64 yards, which makes the price point almost $7.80 per 100 yards. It is double that price at Amazon. It is about $16 per 100 yards. Still 100% polyester wash lay flat to dry so yeah it's kind of a bummer that the peruvian alpaca has been discontinued altogether but as i showed you there is an alternative to this and the spinelli has just been spinella has just been changed and so it's going to cost more but you can still have access to the eyelash yarn if this is something that you're interested in overall 
Um, personally, I do not mind the eyelash yarn. Um, the Peruvian uh, alpaca, I will probably purchase uh, the Lion Brand um, alpaca blend just because I like this a lot. And this, I probably will use this as I shared before, I'll use this on the fiddle mats. All right, y'all, um, that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope this was helpful, finding alternatives to these yarns um, so that way you can still enjoy um, your crochet day. All right, y'all, have a fantastic day.